I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you questions from 2016 test paper vectors. Now we'll discuss how to find distance between point and a line. Here is a question in details to look into. The question is determine the distance from a point A to 1 minus 6 to the line x equals to 4 minus s y equals to 1 plus 2s z equals to so that is the question for you. Now I hope you remember that for finding distance between a point and the line, we should always use cross product, right? And the formula is S, the distance between the two, is absolute value of cross between, uh, let me write down the formula first, and then we will actually uh, explore it, right? We'll, we'll actually explore it, magnitude of this. Now, in this particular case, what we have really is that if we have a plane, let me discuss, let us discuss this a bit, and then we'll actually do the question right. Uh, I'm just drawing a general point and a general line. So let us say that is the line, right? And then we have a point somewhere, uh, somewhere here. So when we say R0, is our point point will be like p0 let's say this is the point right so that is the point p0 for us given to us at this case it is we'll say a is the point 2 1 minus 6 let us say right now we need to find the distance between this point and the line so the distance is always the perpendicular distance right therefore we should do cross product between the direction of the line and the direction between any any point on the line and uh, the direction from the origin to the point right so these are the two directions right where which we are calling as r0 is this direction from 0 to a and r1 is direction from a to any point p for example okay so when you do now this vector here is r0 minus r1 you get the idea right so when you do the cross product you get the vector along this line and if you divide by the magnitude of this then you get the exact distance right so that is the distance formula i hope you understand and appreciate it now we'll find what is this r0 minus r1 r0 minus r1 so that gives you the direction between any point in general on the line and the given point right so r0 is 2 minus 4 let us say x value is 4 here right? so we'll write 2 minus 4 and then as far as the y value is 1 minus 1 so we'll write 1 minus 1 and minus 6 uh, minus 2 minus 2 this is r0 minus r1 correct which you could write this as 2 minus 4 is minus 2 0 and minus 8 okay. now what is V V is the direction of this line right so for us vector V is equals to minus 1 plus 2 and 0 that is the direction now we know all this we can substitute in this formula or let us first find the cross product between these two right so let us find the cross product uh, between these two so the cross product rather the magnitude of the cross product cross product we can find like ijk right ijk and uh, this value is uh, minus 2 0 minus 8 and we have minus 1 2 0 right so let's find this cross product so this is the cross product the numerator we are trying to find we will find the magnitude after this okay so so we have i these are unit vectors and uh, 0 minus of minus will give us plus 16 minus j and for j that is 0 minus 8 plus k minus 4 minus 0 let me write here itself 16 i uh, plus 8 j and this is uh, 
minus 4k minus 4k correct so that is the numerator of the distance now the magnitude of this will be what so let us now calculate the magnitude of r0 minus r1 cross the direction that is the magnitude of this which will be square root of 16 square plus 8 square plus minus 4 square right let's find this also we'll use the calculator square root of 16 square plus 8 square plus 4 will also become positive right equals to 421 4 square root 21 so that is the numerator now we have vector direction of the line let's also find the magnitude of this here which is square root of minus 1 square plus 2 square plus 0 square 5 right square root of 5 so now we can write down what the distance is right so between them distance is 4 square root 21 divided by square root 5 okay so 4 square root 21 is already there divided by square root of 5 so these are simple ways of doing it so we have the answer here which is 4 square root 105 over 5 uh, in decimals if you want to right you say approximately 8.20 let us say 8.2 so let's just do two decimal places approximately 8.2 right so these are the steps if you show your steps clearly even if there is a spelling i mean even if there is some mistake in between it is okay there could be but anyway it is important to do in parts so that each and everything is clearly written and then you find your answer and write it down i hope you understand that whenever you're using directions at that time to find the distance always use cross product but in case you are using normal of a plane or something in that case you could use dot product right so that is a key thing to remember right? i hope this helps thank you and all the best